Welcome to the Science of Reading Training Pedagogy with the Young Learners Curriculum, maximizing student success through evidence-based instruction. Today, we'll dive into how the Young Learners Curriculum integrates the science of reading, pedagogy, and other evidence-based methodologies like Bloom's Taxonomy and project-based learning. These strategies help overcome pain points in early education, such as struggling readers, lack of engagement, and a one-size-fits-all approach. Many curriculums face challenges in addressing diverse learning needs. Struggling readers, disengagement, and rigid traditional approaches can hinder students' progress. The Young Learners Curriculum is designed to tackle these pain points by focusing on individualized, explicit instruction aligned with the science of reading pedagogy. We cater to ages 6 to 12, grades 1 through 5, CEFR levels, advanced beginner, to intermediate, A1 up to B1. Issues with most of the curriculums, as you can see, is readers really struggle. It's a one-size-fits-all approach, and there's a very big lack of engagement. And a lot of kids did fall behind recently because of COVID. According to the Science of Reading Pedagogy, that provides a foundation for structured literacy that ensures all students, regardless of their learning needs, you can build a strong fake foundation. In our curriculum, we incorporate phonics-based activities, gamified vocabulary exercises, fluency drills, and scaffold comprehension tasks to make sure students build those critical reading skills. As you can see, the structure of our lessons, we start with the introduction of the lesson topic, interactive flashcards, a word cloud, which is reading and predicting, engagement activities, which are timed, which helps them with testing later on, listening activities. We have group work, pair work, that's co-creating a story with you and the teacher or you and another classmate, as well as role play. Not to mention we have project-based learning, which includes STEAM projects, create, design, write, and draw, role-playing and acting out, self-assessment and student assessment, as, as well as a student checklist. We also have teacher and parental feedback that we constantly monitor, and we have mastery learning quizzes. By the end of the lesson, there's also an update based on their feedback and plenty of materials to go along with each lesson. Now let's talk about how our curriculum aligns with Bloom's taxonomy. This framework takes students from remembering and understanding to creating and evaluating, ensuring a higher order of thinking is developed. Each lesson moves students up the hierarchy, helping them analyze, create, and evaluate the content they are learning. As you can see, we have inside this pyramid the exact things that we teach and where it fits. So we have your time vocabulary, interactive flashcards and word card clouds are at the remember stage. Then we move on to listening, student sentence creation and role playing vocabulary, which is the understanding stage. As they move into the application through role playing scenes, drawing vocabulary concepts, story creation using the vocabulary. How are we letting how are we ensuring also that they're analyzing their material? There are guided questions as well as critical thinking. We have compare and contrast as well as story predictions. How do we make sure that they are evaluating? We have self-assessment. We have review of their projects. We even get the feedback from the teachers themselves as well as parental feedback. And then how do we make sure that they reach that tip top through the creation part? They have STEAM projects, creative writing, and their final project. How are we using our supplemental materials? We also make sure that after the lesson, there is a remember and understand and, and apply. We have PDF support workbooks, PDF flashcards, as well as understanding where they have a chance to watch songs and videos. As another thing that we also include is our PDF storybooks. And we, it's great and the kids really enjoy them. 
Now, how are we following the golden standard of project-based learning? There are seven tiers to this. Project-based learning is key to our curriculum. Students don't just learn passively, they create. They co-design stories, they draw, they role play, and they work on STEAM projects that incorporate the vocabulary reading skills they've developed. This not only makes learning more engaging, but it also enhances long-term retention and critical thinking. We are empowering students to apply their knowledge creatively and collaboratively. Project-based learning fosters critical thinking, problem solving, and mastery by integrating real-world tasks and STEAM projects into the curriculum itself. We also have differentiated instruction and learning styles. Our curriculum also caters to many different learning styles, whether the students are visual, auditory or kinesthetic learners. We have activities that meet their needs from an illustrated flashcards to interactive songs and action-based vocabulary games. Students have multiple ways to access and retain the information. Like we said, it's not a one size fits all. We are mastering learning for long-term success. As you can look at this image, one of the most important principles we follow is mastering learning. Students are encouraged to fully grasp each concept before moving on, ensuring that they're building a strong foundation. Self-assessment, peer reviews, and scaffold exercises are built in every lesson to make sure this, there is no student left behind. We also believe in the vital teacher feedback and parent feedback loop. We believe in continuous improvement after every lesson we're gathering feedback both based on teachers and parents and of course students themselves to make sure our curriculum is meeting the needs of every student. This feedback loop helps us make a data-driven decision and complete our updates and refine our materials to better serve our diverse learners. We're going to be creating a course. This training course overview is here. We are building a free intensive training course that will cover exactly how to teach our lessons. The first session will be session one, which will be an introduction to the science of reading pedagogy. It's going to be about 45 to 60 minutes and our key focus will be understanding the principles of the science of reading, breaking down the curriculum's integration of phonics, vocabulary, fluency and comprehension, and addressing common pain points in literacy development and how the curriculum will resolve it. Session two is going to be differentiated instruction and gamified learning. That's gonna be another 45 to 60 minutes. And that key focus will be on implementing the differentiated learning strategies for diverse student needs using gamified activities, quizzes, flashcards, and songs, and engaging different styles of learning, visual, auditory, or kinesthetic demonstrating practical uses of interactive materials like flashcards, workbooks, and videos. Our session three will be the final session, and this training session will be talking about mastery learning and feedback loop. Again, this is about a 45 to 60 minute training. Their key focus that we're going to be going to focus on is our mastery learning principles and scaffold support for student success, exploring the self-assessment teacher feedback, and parental feedback. Reviewing cur continuous curriculum improvements based on real-time classroom data. We believe in continuous improvement. After every lesson, we're gathering feedback from both teachers, parents, and students to make sure our curriculum will be meeting each need for every student. This feedback loop enhances helps us make a data-driven update and refine our materials to better serve diverse learners and this helps your business as well. In conclusion, Young Learners Leveled Reading incorporates the science of reading pedagogy, Bloom's taxonomy, and project-based learning. We can ensure that each student not only learns but they thrive. Together, we will maximize creativity and mastery, making lifelong readers out of all of the students. And also don't forget to sign up for our free tier to get a taste of our curriculum. 
We look forward to seeing everybody soon, and I hope that you enjoyed this presentation. Have a great day.